So, Vasya, have you taken well to learning the mystical arts? Are you curious enough to learn some more? So, how did you become a Khaldun, Grandfather? I was born in Vilgard, the sixth son of my father, Yevlan Pichurov. It was a big family, not the richest, though. When you have so many mouths to feed, it's hard to save money. But we lived well as a family. The house must have been built well. That is to say, I realize this now. Then one year, a seventh brother was born. Timofey, he was called. He was a good lad. He grew up, but I didn't look after him well enough. Heavy is this sin of mine. I still feel guilty. Vasya, having chorts is a trivial thing. You would do better to protect the ones closest to you, to fight for them. It's knowledge that gives us strength, for we harness their own power against them, with the chorts under our control. One day I was looking after Timofey. We were playing with the other children, but I lost my patience with the boy. I cursed him severely. Sent him to the Leshi. So the Leshi carried him away. We never found Timoshka. He'd... Oh, it's hard to bear these sins, Vasya. So hard. Oh, yeah. So I decided to become a Kaldun. I wouldn't let the Dark One... Well, I'll tell the story of how I became a Kaldun later. Ask me tomorrow. It's hard to remember all these things of the past. You'll understand when you're as old as me. How can I recognize evil spirits? How can I know when they're before me? Simple. You've been to the world of the devil, and now you'll see everything for what it is. The only thing is, the darkness will see you too. Demons and spirits will track you down. And as soon as you glance into the darkness, you'll feel their eyes upon you as well. Be strong. Such is our fate. You make your own way. How is our Isba built? It was built long ago. Lots of people have lived here since. More than half a century ago, it seems. All according to old rituals. You know them by now. But uh, I don't remember who built it. Uh, my grandfather, I suppose. No. I have to go, grandfather. We'll talk later. God bless, Yegor Ivlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. God bless. I come bearing gifts. Some flour for your household. Please, hear me out. I won't waste your time. I'll tell you straight away. Something terrible is happening at the mill. We were working in the night, when suddenly we heard some strange sounds. Then a shadow began to darken in one of the corners. Such a deep blackness. We ran for our lives. You are known for your knowledge in these matters. What should I do now? 
During the night shift at the windmill, we heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shifting shadows. What could be behind such emanations? Why do you work at night? Demons are at work. Jesus Christ. Well, how do you think the millstones turn? Not by the wind alone, obviously. It's forbidden to work a windmill after nightfall. But what do we do now? I did everything right when I built it. Please, help me. I have this old item that you might find useful. You'd better cough it up if we help you. All right, Vasha. Look into what's going on with that place. The demon there may be of use to us, you know? I'll find out what's going on with you, Chort. Oh, thank you. I was told you wouldn't let me down. Uh, goodbye for now. He's not your average Miller. Usually they consort with a Leshy, but this Miller has some Chort. Well, I'll study these seals while you're off dealing with the mill. And to make your trip a bit easier, Take this herb. It is called an Adam's Head. It will heal you up if anything goes sideways. Time for you to be on your way. Evil spirits won't quell themselves. Well, you get all that? Wanna ask anything else? Where do I find this? Don't you remember the one to the north of Vilgor? The devil haunts that place at night, people say. Go there and be back home by sunrise. We have much to do. How do I use the herbs anyway? Well, it's quite simple. Use them in battle to close up your wounds. Got it, Grandfather. It's time to go. See you tomorrow. Ah, wait. One more thing. I've sent the chort to Kushova village. He must have cursed someone. Go there and fix it. You'll earn some money in process. All right, Grandpa. The silver glow of the moon catches glimpses of the foul water. The chilled northern night air is split by dull croaks coming from the swamp. You move closer a couple of steps. Suddenly, a demon appears from beneath the water with black horns and a body that is woolly and matted.
Near the forest's edge, you see a white towel on an old stump. Someone has left a bottle of milk and some piragi. Near these gifts is a birch charter. Peasants from Bigichi village are asking the Leshi to take care. You take the gifts, but leave the charter. The Leshi will probably help them anyway, just not as much as he would have if you had not stolen the offerings. On a hillside near Kacheva Lake, you see two silhouettes. One is combing the other's long hair. There is something strange in his uneven movements. Something that gives you shivers. The black figures disappear as soon as you recite the name of God. Gloomy windmill arms creak in the distance, parting the pre-dawn fog. The shadow of an owl passes overhead. It crosses your path, a bad omen, since man's path and man's destiny are as one. Yet, could it be it was trying to point you somewhere? Suddenly, you come upon a swamp and stop at its border. It is dangerous to continue onward. You turn to go back and notice a devil's finger beneath your feet. The spruce branches part, and an old mill stands before you. This place is filled with legends and stories from the surrounding villages. Those who visited this place at dusk, or worse, at night, speak of dark phantoms in the windows of the mill, of sudden gusts of wind and other devilry. It is what they call a bad place. It's hard to see anything in the dark gloom of the night. Nevertheless, you feel your eyes getting used to the darkness. The black book may be aiding you. Amidst the thick grass, you spot an old axe, its blade covered with rust. It's obvious the mill is old. Some wood has rotted through, making more windows. You approach and try to open the door. It's closed. The lock is as old as the mill. Once the axe will help, but probably break in the process. It is quite old. You swing and strike the lock. With a clang, it breaks. Study the cabinet. Among various krinkas, 
old pots and birch bark containers, you find a sack with silver rubles. It might be of some use to you. You choose to take the money. The miller will hardly miss it. A broken block of wood is near the wall. It seems to be part of the windmill's mechanism and the reason why the grindstones are standing still. Through a hole in the wall, you see the woods of Chernin. Expected to see a wretched old man, not a beautiful maiden. Why are you here then? And I didn't expect to meet a demon speaking the common tongue. I'm an apprentice witch. Who are you? Ha! Huh. A demon, you say? Oh, you see, maiden, I'm not a common short. I am known as the Thirteenth Brother. I am the guardian of the village, the forest, and the secret hidden garden and its heart. I'm also the guardian of this windmill. All of this is me. The Unseen Master, at your service. What kind of name is that? The Thirteen Brother? It is a name whispered through time and across many lands. Until it became my name, that is. I will tell you the story, if you want to hear it, of course. There is still time until the dawn. Well, come on then. Tell me. I'm a scholar of evil spirits and the demons of the world. It is good to meet a sorceress that doesn't immediately hurl herbs and venomous phrases before engaging in the more sophisticated art of conversation. Very well, so you're interested. A long time ago, I had twelve brothers. I was the thirteenth brother, the youngest. At that time, there was a war, and we were enlisted, you might say. I served under the strongest and most capable commander. He kept me alive, and so I became the last of my brothers, the thirteenth, and the only one remaining. After all those years, fate has brought me here. Why are you here, then? Hmm. Well, what do you want with the windmill, then? Haven't you figured it out? Perhaps I was wrong about you. I thought of you to be a strong witch. A master of wit, deduction, and intellect. One endowed with knowledge that others do not possess. I... The windmill is possessed, but is the demon's presence here as spontaneous as it appears to be? I must think about why he's here in the first place. You were summoned by a sacrifice! You've been here since your creation! Well, you are knowledgeable indeed. Not to mention, I'm bound to this pitiful miller, but I desire a powerful master. Take me as your servant, 
My sacrifice will attract someone more agreeable. And you will have both your reward from the miller and the reward of my presence. Well, so be it. I could use a chort like you, if not just for the conversation. Wait, perhaps you are not as strong as you seem. There is yet to be such a Kaldun who can outmatch the Thirteenth Brother.
Take the demon into your personal service. He will ask for work, like any other chort. The mill is now without a spirit, but this is none of your concern. And then he disappeared. He won't be interfering with work at the windmill anymore. So, you took up a new chort. Hope it well. While you were gone, I had some thoughts about the seals. Every single piece has its meaning, and every seal requires a demon. The second one is the Aspen one. We'll have to think what to do next. The first seal was opened by touch, and that was all. How do I open the second? Well, not by simply touching the asp, that's for sure. I think we need evil spirit, so we'll find the asp and demons. Where do you think we can find them, Grandfather? I don't know yet. I'll have to think on it. Go deal with the things you can at the moment, and let me think. Can't we open the others right- I doubt that, but who knows? Look around a bit and maybe you'll- I see. Time to get... The shorts are back! I sent them to perform an arduous task. That's why they weren't around. Now I should give them tasks? Well, what did you expect? You knew what you signed up for. Everything has a price. Especially wishes. <clears throat> If you don't want them to torture you, send them to curse people. That's the life of a Kaldun for you. And if I don't want to curse anyone? Then suffer. These demons won't leave you alone. I've seen them before in your bestead. Not often, though. Now you will see them pl You can observe our entire gubernia in your bestead. In the end, you decide what you do with those jorts of yours. God help us. The moment I became a Kaldun, I saw the we There is no... S you just noticed your own... Tr How did you come to... Well, that's the fighting I heard once. So I became a... I shouldn't knew his way around the forest, that one. And how... So I studied under him. Anyway, uh, it's a long story. I'll tell you later how I received my knowledge. It's not had to bust my... B In any case, see how I managed to teach you. I do, Grandpa. What kind of man was he that... Not a kind man, but of great knowledge. Cursed a lot of people. Practically earned a living that way. Nearly cursed me once. A shepherd's really... What makes you think they aren't? Why don't you try finding all the cat? One has to know how to ask the old man of the forest, and in case a demon steals a cow, or you'll have to learn. What did you wish? Demons are the one turning the grindstones at the mill. Well, the miller won't turn them, that's for sure. Can't the wind spin them? Do you have to use demons everywhere? It's dangerous, and a sin to boot. Well, what did you expect? 
It will soon be the 20th century. The demons might make it easier. If they can start making floor, who knows? Maybe we can teach them to reap. You've heard of steam engines? Huh? I think there's a steam charted. How did you manage your own ch Nothing to it, really. Just give them something to do. The only thing is they can't manage every task well. Their job is to wreak havoc. They don't like any other sort. How did you manage your own chorts? Nothing to it, really. Just give them something to do. Their job is to wreak havoc. They... <laughs>